Now I'd like to um, introduce the topic of, so what is really going on here? We find that, and it's well known, that dyslexics are often very talented people. Um, they're not so talented at literacy or numeracy, but they're very talented at something or other else. So I got very curious to ask what was actually going on here. And we've got people with extraordinary visual brains seeing a very different perspective on the world than other people. So we have these two sides of um, dyslexia. One is the exceptional creative skills they've got, which they're trying to produce. And we've got some quite debilitating symptoms that's actually crushing them down in the opposite direction, like poor spelling, poor reading, poor concentration, all of those sort of things. We have very, very talented people who are very well known who are dyslexics. People like Jamie Oliver or Richard Branson, very talented. And by the way, we know they're dyslexic. Whereas in school, I think what's happening is we've got kids who are known for poor concentration or poor spelling or poor reading and their skills are getting lost. Coaching, as I said earlier, is very much about what you can do and what you're really good at doing and how you can use those skills for things that you're not so good at. People say to me, is it genetic? But if you look at um, families, then behaviours can run in families too. And I'm sure you all know people who, where you've seen behaviours running in families. Being very visual runs in a family. So for example, if you've got a mother who is a photographer, then you'll probably be very visual as well. If you've got a parent who's an engineer or a garden designer or something like that, you'll probably find they've got an amazing ability. Garden designers are incredible. They have an amazing ability to look at your garden, which looks like a, a barren field, and imagine what it could really look like. And then they, their job is to tell you what it could look like. So those sort of visual skills are quite often handed down. And if adults work together with their children, then they can make real success together. So the picture here we've got is mum imagines an apple and she's got the word apple as well. One child's got one apple, another child's got another apple, and the third child's got such an imagination. The she saw the apple for a second and it's gone. And she's probably moved on to pears and bananas and everything else by now. And so she's got a, a exceptional skill for visualising, which could be extremely useful to her in later life, but it's not the thing to do with words.